All right. Let me find this on my computer. Make everything look a little prettier. Give people just a couple minutes to find me. I think maybe I'm a little early. this. Sorry about that. Okay, well, I think it's about time. So, welcome to Facebook Live with Christy Hillock. My name is, as I said, Christy Hillock. I'm with CJ Card Creations here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Hey mom, thanks for jumping on. Um, You'll have to tell me what you think because I'm using my AirPods tonight to see if I can get the sound to be a little bit better. Um, if you can tell that it's better, great. If it's worse, please let me know because I don't want to do that. So anyway, okay. So tonight I wanted to show you what I did with the Batter Up Paper Pumpkin Kit. So we'll be focusing on that. Um, show you what came in the kit as well as a couple of ideas that I had for using it a little bit differently. So other things that I want to talk about this month, um, so just through the end of May, you can join Stampin' Up! through Join Plus. And what's really exciting about that is that for $99, you get $155 worth of product of your choice, whatever you want to get out of the catalog. And um, that's all shipped to you for free along with some business supplies. And so that is $30 more product than what you would get, you know, if you just joined during the rest of the year. Um, so the starter kit's always a great deal, um, which is what we call that $99 deal. Um, but right now it's especially good and you'd get to be part of my team, which is the Queen Bees. And I share fun ideas. I share all of my paper pumpkin ideas and tutorials. You get discounts on kits and classes with me if you're on my team. So I definitely think that we have a good time. It's not a huge formal affair. If you join, there's never any um, pressure to do anything more than just, you know, keep stamping. Hey, Janie. And, um, once you've joined, you get a 20% discount. So that's definitely worth doing because then you can have even more fun. So that is that. We also, um, during, I think, all of May and the first part of June, have what they're calling Connect, Craft, and Collect $25. And so that special is that if you host a party or put in an order of $250 or more, then you get an additional $25 in rewards to use on any product that you want. So a little bit of free money, that's always great. So definitely consider hosting a party. I love coming out and teaching your friends some stamping techniques and making a few cards with you. So just get with me and we can schedule that. Um, okay, the next thing that I have is this beautiful expressions in color. So tonight I'm featuring the batter up. I think that's what it's called paper pumpkin. And um, so that subscription period has already passed and they've sent those out. Right now, if you want to subscribe for paper pumpkin, it is the expressions in color. And if you've never heard me talk about paper pumpkin before, it is a monthly subscription kit. It is everything you need all in one box for $22 a month. Or if you subscribe, I think maybe it's 21 um, sorry, not if you subscribe, but I think if you um, do a prepaid. So that's an option too. You get a little bit of a discount. So um, I love getting it. You never know what's coming until the start of the subscription period. And they don't tell you all of the information. They just give you kind of little teasers. And so this next one, this Expressions in Color, coordinates with um, one of the, um, oh my goodness, one of the suites in the new annual catalog, the Expressions in Ink, 
What's really special about this kit is that you'll actually get two different ink spots instead of the usual one. And um, you can continue to use the stamps that come in this kit along with that suite if you decided you wanted to purchase more. So that is pretty exciting. Then I got a shipment today from Stampin' Up! and I'm so excited. I've been waiting for these tabs, so let me just pull them out and show you. This is the first time Stampin' Up! has done this, but they created these little tabs that you can put on your catalog so that it's easier to flip through and find, you know, all of the ink or all of the paper or you know whatever it is that you're looking for so I'm really excited about these and I bought enough that I can share with all of my team and my customers so if you want these please let me know and if you don't already have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog and the tabs I would love to do that for you so just get in touch with me through here or through my email so if you are on my team, you'll be getting these soon. Um, something else, and the reason I'm gonna show this to you is just because I missed it the first probably five times I looked through the catalog because it is a standalone die set, which is kind of unusual, um, but I thought it was beautiful and it's actually a little bit out of my, um, out of my usual style too. But this is called the Iconic Dies. So like I said, there's no stamps that go with this, but this mushroom is gorgeous and they're all really detailed. So fern and a bee and this little branch and the leaves and flowers and this cute little bird. So I cannot wait to start making some stuff. I think you'll probably see some of these elements popping up on lots of my cards, regardless of what other product I'm using. So anyway, if you haven't already seen these in the catalog, you should go take a peek. The Iconic Dies. So, let's see. Honestly, the rest of the stuff that I ordered, I haven't even gotten to look through because that's how busy today has been. Um, but I will show you more next week too. So, with this paper pumpkin, um, this is the stamp set that came and so it's all focused on baseball. And let me just tell you, Jonah was really excited about the double bubble, I think it was, double bubble bubble gum that came in the box. So that was kind of fun. Um, but this says, you're the greatest of all time. You're the best all-star. There's a cute baseball hat and a bat. And then it's got mom, brother, friend, uncle, grandpa, son, dad, and ever. So some really versatile sentiments here, which is always nice. And all of the envelopes come with the, the um, flap being lined, which is really pretty. And I guess, actually, I think it's printed, not lined, but really nice, just an extra touch. And then these are the die cuts. So there's a home plate and a baseball and the cute bats and um, the, the colors I think were Night of Navy, Real Red, Bumblebee, and Soft Suede. So really great colors, um, just kind of classic. It included these cute little, um, I think enamel dots is what we call them. I could be wrong. Anyway, they're super cute and they're really easy to use too. And always the glue dots and the dimensionals, which are great. And so something else that I wanted to tell you about this kit that is new is that Stampin' Up! has redone the directions and it is fantastic. And let me just tell you, having done this for several years, I was like, eh, you know, that's whatever. I don't really need help because usually I can, you know, just look at the picture and figure it out. But I decided just to follow the instructions today just to see, um, you know, how the improvement really is and so it's all three projects with what you're going to need for each project on this fold out and then you open it up so it used to just be two sections and now it's the three um and then they give these re really detailed instructions even down to this is dimensionals on this section and this is glue dots here and 
Um, I just think it's really, really handy. So that's nice. Especially, you know, one thing that's great is if you wonder where to place embellishments, this really, like you just copy it and it's super easy. Tells you exactly which ones. And then they also, they've always had a ruler, but since there's more instructions, there's more space for a bigger ruler, so that's handy. And then on the back side, as always, there's a QR code which gets you to a video, um, I think. It, it's either a video or just the tutorial. Um, and then it shows you everything that's in it as well as the colors that go along, which tells you it'll make nine cards with nine envelopes. And then it gives a couple of alternate ideas, which they've always done. Um, sometimes they make those, sometimes I just sort of take a peek and then move on. Um, and this month was take a peek and move on. So anyway, this is wonderful. So make sure you check that out. So the cards that the kit made, even though you just saw the pictures, I feel like it's just really helpful to see them full size on the screen. Um, so these are the three and they're really great. So this one I modified because we have a grandpa and an opa in our family. And so I can teach you how to do that. Um, because I only used the stamps that we had, and then I have the stamp and write markers, which is what I needed for that. But you could also do it with an ink pad. So anyway, just so you know, that's an option. And then, um, you know, just, just really happy, cheerful. I've got all sorts of ideas, like cousin, birthday in June, and he plays baseball, and a bunch of different people that I can use these cards for. So I really think they're great. And then I moved on to my own designs and I didn't quite finish all of them so I can't show you the last one. But one thing I wanted to do was make this a girly stamp set because the colors are so masculine. And so I made this little pocket card and then I used my Wink of Stella. I don't know if that really shows in video ever, but it's sparkly little hat and then some rhinestones. Um, and I just thought it was such a fun little idea for how to have a nice card for a girl. So anyway, um, there's that one. And then this one, this one I thought was fun. I used my scoring board to make some lines on that piece of cardstock. And then otherwise super simple. Um, I haven't put the card liner in yet, but I'll get there. And then the one that I'm going to show you how to make tonight is this one. And so um, I stuck to the color scheme on this one and just essentially made my own designer series paper. And um, I brought in some soft suede and Knight of Navy cardstock. And then um, we have a pack of twine in the mini catalog right now that has basic gray twine and Knight of Navy twine. So. I went ahead and used the Knight of Navy there, and then I also decorated the inside on that card liner. So that is what we will make tonight. So let me pull in my supplies here. How's the sound? Has it been okay? I, I mean, I hadn't gotten any complaints, but I just feel like if the, the microphone stays right by me, that might be a little, a little better. Okay, so this is the soft suede card base. So I'm just, I've already scored it. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. So go ahead and burnish that score line. Okay, thank you. Um, and then I've got two pieces of basic white that measure four by five and a quarter. So one's gonna be for the front and one's gonna be for the inside. And we'll do all of the stamping concurrently. And then this piece of Knight of Navy is four and a quarter by one and a half. And then I just have a strip of basic white that um, when I cut down a sheet of cardstock to make these pieces, I always end up with a half an inch piece. And so I keep these and I, I mean, I can probably have stamp sentiments for the next 10 years. But anyway, that is really all that we need. And then just a scrap piece for the sentiment that I'll punch out. So make sure I've got everything here. So I'm gonna start with my 
Just kidding. I'm going to start with my soft suede ink and my cute little baseball bat stamp here. So this is probably going to end up looking somewhat differently from the first one, which is cool. Um, but when I'm stamping the same image multiple times, I just like to rotate it so that it doesn't look too uniform. Um, and there's really just no telling how it will turn out, but I'm definitely going to stamp off the page in some places. Hmm. Well, maybe like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more. Um, just like that. And then I'll go ahead and do the, the bats that are on my liner as well. And so for these, I just wanted them kind of focused around the top corner, like so. And that is it for the soft suede. Okay, so next we need the real red and the hat stamp. And so I haven't looked at it because it's, I don't wear baseball hats because it makes my forehead itchy. So, anyway, weird fact you probably didn't need to know. But there is, in the new annual catalog, um, a bundle that has a baseball hat stamp and die, and then I'm not sure what else is with it. But I've seen some really cute projects, and so if you wanted to carry forward with this theme, then, you know, there's definitely some other options for you as well. Okay, so that is all that I want to do for the inside of my card. So I'm going to set that to the side and bring in my front panel. And again, I'm just going to stamp in different directions. Oh, that one didn't make it. There we go. And really this, um, the middle of this panel isn't going to matter too much because I'm going to cover it up, but I sort of just need it to, you know, help me stamp so that I can see where I'm going and that sort of thing. Um, and if you notice, I'm not overlapping the hat with the baseball bat just you could, um, but because the colors are so different, I just decided not to for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So really, I could probably stop there, but I feel like it's just missing a little bit of color over there. And then, you know, my stamping off is kind of distracting too. So, but I think, I think that'll do it. It looks cute. So... The next stamping that we need to do, after I close up this red, is the uncle strip. So I wanted it to um, not, you know, like the, the full word isn't always shown. So that is the goal here, is to go off the edges. And that's part of why I didn't cut this down to four and a half, although really, I guess... It might, might make the guesswork a little bit less if I would just do that. So, okay. So now I've got my little uncle stamp. And, I, you know, it'd be nice if it was perfectly straight every time, but I honestly don't care that much. Just because of the style of this. And really, I could actually just tilt them so that it really doesn't matter that I can't tell if I'm stamping straight or not. And the uncle that this is going to, off center and crazy, is sort of how he rolls. So I think that will be great. All right, so there is that done. And I still need the Knight of Navy because I need to stamp the all-star sentiment. So, 
make sure this inks up really well. And that is one really nice thing about the photopolymers that you can you can see if it inked up all the way. And if it didn't, you can also line it back up. But that looks beautiful. So I'm going to close this up now. And oh yeah, so I gotta punch that first. So this is the tailored tag punch. And we've had it for a couple of years and it came out with a masculine bundle when it was first released. And I don't know if it really looks masculine or if that's just in my head, but anyway, I thought this was a great fit for this um, project. So I'm just gonna center that up here and there we go. Pop that out. And then we just really need to put this together. So I'm going to start with the front. I used up all of my stamp and seal today, so we're gonna just do my standby Tombow glue, assuming I still have enough. I think before I started doing this as a business, for one, I was scared of the liquid glue. And for two, I just didn't really craft all that much. And so I didn't didn't go through the liquid glue very fast. And now I feel like I'm pulling a new one out every other week, which is probably an exaggeration, but it is just funny how different it is. All right, there's that. And I'll go ahead and put the liner in as well. So I had a card class here at my house this week and we made, I think you might have seen on my page, we, I posted that giraffe card and that was one of the things that we made. And then we did another sunset card that actually it's a, a picture frame, but I'll feature that on the page here in a couple days. Um, but using the blending brushes to make those sunsets is just really relaxing. They talk about adult coloring being relaxing, but I think that's my version because I don't know, having to stay in the lines and pick colors and whatever for really detailed images is just a little less than relaxing to me. So anyway, um, I was, I really enjoyed doing that class and it, this doesn't actually have to be centered, so I'm just kind of moving it around to see where I like it. And honestly, I think as it turns out, centered is still where it's at. So I'll glue this down. You guys have had not much to say this evening. So maybe you're feeling it too. Um, Joe and I were both exhausted this morning and the kids seemed just destroyed. And I don't really understand why, unless it's just trying to get used to it being hotter or I don't know, but I thought it was kind of funny. And then, then my neighbor was complaining too, how tired she was. So it is not just my house. Okay, and then do this one. Usually when we put Emily to bed, she messes around in her room for much longer than you would expect a two and a half year old to do. And last night we put her in her room and she wanted the light off and she wanted to go to sleep and she was out instantly. It's really funny. And she slept through the night, I think. I don't think that's why I'm so tired. <laughs> so, I don't know. Every night kind of blurs together. All right, I think that looks straight. I'm just having to, usually I can use my edges, but since I'm gonna trim this, it's a little tougher. So I'm gonna grab my trimmer. And this is actually not a Stampin' Up! one, so don't look. I'm just gonna line this up in here and trim off that little bit of extra and then I'll do the same thing and this side is a little higher cost if I go too far so fortunately that worked out okay so there is how that's looking 
And now what I'm going to do is first take a glue dot. I want it to be just a little bit bigger than the ones that came in the kit this time, um, just because I'm going to put down quite a bit of the twine. So put that right in the center. And then I'm just going to wrap this around in a figure eight. This is something I've done several times lately, and so I'm just really liking the look of it. Um, you kind of get a bow look without having to actually tie a bow, which I don't typically mind doing, but sometimes it's just, just a little bit easier to not. So, all right, I think that's going to do. Yeah, that looks good. So, don't you love how I'm super exact about everything? Don't ever ask me how much ribbon you need for something. Um, all right, so now I'm going to take this off and just kind of flatten it out and make sure that it's sort of centered where they cross and put that on that glue dot. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's that. And now I just need a couple of dimensionals to put this on the card. And since this card is probably going to a man since it's uncle. I am not going to put any rhinestones on, but I do think that these cute little um, enamel dots can be added without making it a super feminine card, which is great. So I'm just going to peel off all of this. So over the weekend, I actually cleaned out my office craft studio place really, really thoroughly. I was excited. And then I came down here today to work and yeah, you can't tell. It's amazing how fast I can make a mess, but I am going to at least try to be better about cleaning it up. So we'll see how that goes. You'll have to hold me accountable. And then I just want to take my take your pick tool and I think I have actually almost used the putty refill so I'm gonna have to get a new one of these. I didn't want to bring in the bumblebee to this card just because I feel like three colors is pretty good. So I'm only going to use the red dots and I think on this one we'll go I don't know. This is always a process that if I'm just making it up myself, I'm never sure I did a good job, but um, maybe there. All right. And there you have it. So just an idea for changing up your kit. I hope you liked this and I would really, really appreciate your business if you wanted to order any of these supplies. Or if you wanted to join my team, please reach out and ask me. If you're catching this live, I, it means so much to me that you guys are here every week. And if you're catching this on the replay, I am so grateful for you taking the time. Um, please let me do anything to help you that you need, whether it's product inspiration or getting a catalog in your hands, anything else. If you like and share this video, that really helps me as well. And I'll do a drawing to send a, one, of, one of the cards that I made um, to someone who shared. So I think that's everything. And I love all the hearts. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful evening. And I will talk to you next week. Okay, thanks. Bye.